Awesome. Good morning, everybody, and welcome. I'm super excited to be here with Debbie Jane today and to um, be presenting on this. Well, it's not really presenting, actually. We're going to be looking at you guys and your businesses and, um, yeah, answering any questions around that, but really just doing a little bit of a deep dive. And what I find, and I don't know about you, DJ, but with, and I know you guys were just talking about this actually with Ange and stuff and about, you know, things popping into your head and that sort of thing, but any kind of coaching things that you do in a group, there's always some kind of mirror in there. So regardless of whose business we look at today and whether we get to everybody's, there will always be something in everybody else's as well, you know, that you can go, oh, wow, that's the same for me. Or, oh, I hadn't thought of it that way. Or this is how I could apply it to mine. So keep an open mind. If you're watching the replay, then, you know, understand that we're not just specifically looking at this person's business. Keep an open mind as to how that can apply to yours, because I can guarantee there'll be nuggets that drop in and you go, oh, wow, this is, yeah, exactly it. Because um, I did a recording with my um, team ages ago and as people have joined and have asked that question about how to use it in their business, I've shared them this video and they're like, oh my gosh, that helps so much, you know? So yeah, I'm really excited to do this and to have this resource available for replay as well. So yes, awesome. I think we've got still a few people dropping in, but that's all good. Um, so where should we start DJ with maybe just how we started with the scanner? Um, that might be a good place yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, want me to, do you want me to start? Yeah, you go first. <laughs> I'll just I'll just tell you how it how it all came to be for me. So I about five or six years actually probably five plus years ago. Um, I've been a, nur a, a nurse for thirty years, but I was really falling out of alignment with that model. And so I started down the route of, you know, retraining. I did life coaching, NLP, hypnosis, timeline therapy, Reiki, um, at integrative health. I did my diploma in integrative health. So I was doing all these things. And then, of course, the mandates hit and I wasn't about it. So I stood down and then Beck said to me, this would be amazing for your business. So this topic that we're talking about today is actually how I came to be involved with Solex. And I basically grabbed the device and went, okay, this is incredible. Having been an intensive care and emergency nurse for 30 years and looking at diagnostics and all of the things for all that time, listening to people's ailments and, you know, caring for sick people, this technology just blew my mind on like massively. So of course, immediately I started in on integrating it into my integrative health coaching practice. And so for 18 months, I basically, that's all I did. I wasn't building the Solex business. I was just using this technology in my own health coaching business. And it took it to the next level. It literally I went from a struggling integrative health practitioner <laughs> to, you know, an abundant one where I was, people were, you know, if I talked to people about it, they would want more of what I had. And it was a real point of difference. Since then, I've actually steered more into coaching uh, business, like entrepreneurial, like business women. I still do have my, you know, my wellness from within um, business that I focus on and I do um, work in that realm but I also have diversified with this technology and I now am coaching you know successful entrepreneurial women who are just go 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 hustle 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 and they're almost at burnout you know and so now I've brought that technology into a, a support and assist and guide them on their journey in the entrepreneurship so just to give you an example of how diverse we can actually use this technology in any kind of business to achieve results with our clients with ourselves with you know it's it's there's endless opportunities so and in, and then in the midst of that the trifecta was that I decided well I think it's selfish of me to keep this technology to myself and just my clients <laughs> let's tell the world about it and let's actually build a Solex business as well. So we've got the, you know, I feel like it, it ticks all the boxes for me and so I'm excited to be here today to share some of those little nuggets with you as to how I've gone about it. And, um, yeah, thank you for being here. 
Yeah, that's awesome. It's so cool listening to that. And DJ and I actually met um, doing a photo shoot um, for your NLP business, I think it was, and for my kinesiology. And I actually was, I think I got some pictures done that day for um, the scanner. So that's so funny that our paths crossed and that's how we met originally um, before you or even in Solex, I think. So yeah, that was really cool. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm a kinesiologist and um, I teach kinesiology. Um, I guess for me, the scanner turned up around COVID time as well. And that was at that time where there was so much flux happening in the world, as we all know, and um, working in the way that I was working wasn't necessarily going to be available. Um, I do online work anyway as a kinesiologist, but I was teaching and that was my main kind of, you know, gig I guess um thankfully my students were very open-minded and most of them didn't mind keep come to keep coming through COVID and I there was a loophole where I was legally able able to keep going but you know it did give me that shock to the system like most of us had right that things need to change and there needs to be some um you know diversity happening um in business so for me um I saw the opportunity with building a team and um I have you know I had the opportunity of um, having beautiful students who were interested in it and obviously a lot of different contacts within kinesiology. So that's how I sort of um, started. And because I think just that timing, right, everyone was a little bit uncertain. Um, there were a lot of people that jumped on board because they were like, yeah, we need something like this. And also the uncertainty around health at that time. So for me, um, you know, I've sort of done both, I guess. I've, I've integrated it into my kinesiology business, but I've also been building that business side of it as well. And um, I love it. I've been in the MLL, MLM space in multiple different businesses over the years, but I guess nothing really grabbed my soul like Solex has. And, um, you know, I, I can't, I can't promote something that I don't believe in. And so I was actually, I had a Healy before I began this and I loved it. I loved the frequencies, um, but then I saw its shortcomings and I, I had to step away from that. And I was going, you know, I had quite a successful business with that, but as I felt out of alignment with the company. And so I was actually really quite devastated. I was almost depressed. I don't get depressed, but I was almost like, oh, you know, I really thought this was the thing, you know, to help humanity and I you know so I was really quite sad after Healy fell to pieces for me there's still a lot of people who use them and I respect that um you know it was for my that was my personal um journey with it um but then Solex came through and that was why I had that journey I think with with Healy because I needed to make space for Solex because I probably wouldn't have been open to it if, had I not done that so um yeah so then Solex came along and I was like, oh, wow, these were actually all the boxes that I wanted to be ticked by Healy. That wasn't that it just didn't live up to that, you know. So um, then I got excited again about the business. And that's how I, I believe. Um, yeah, I've sort of managed to do what I've done with it and, and passing on that passion to other people. When you have that passion, I think people can see it and they can feel it and they can hear it, you know, in your voice. And so, um, yeah, and I think we all saw that if you were at Day of Discovery, um, why we're ignited and why we're feeling that passion um, because the company behind um, AO Scan is just phenomenal. So, and the people behind it are amazing. So, yeah. So, anyway, excited to be here and, and help, hopefully, help you um, look at things from a different perspective or nuts a few things out with you. So, yeah. If um, I think where well, we'll do it today, DJ is just asking for volunteers. Is there someone on the call who would like us to sort of hot seat your business <laughs> and have a look at it? I would. Um, and yeah, catch. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, amazing. So yeah. tell us a little bit about who you serve and what you currently do with this scanner, maybe. Okay, that that would be great. Now, my one point that I would bring up, and this has always been, I'm like you, I had Healy before mm. and have been in um, MLM businesses before. I'm a wellness coach up on the minds. So mm -hmm. um, I don't have a, a holistic or practitioner's business, although I'm being guided towards doing some courses and doing that. Um, so I've worked through that block of, oh, well, most of the successful people with Solex have, you know, these uh, holistic or practitioner I bought, on, uh, I bought on beautiful Angela Lacenti, as you all know, and she has Leone Feast Jones, and it's just perfectly matched for Leone's business. So for me, because I work within um, that space, I'm just random with who I 
you know, I'll give a scan to um, and then follow up with them. They may buy additional scans from me, but I, I, until recently, I've only just downloaded the tracker and the 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 beautiful guide that Beck put in there with uh, her beautiful American friend, and I am following it. I make my yeah. I start off really well, and then I get so busy at work. It's like I just feel like I'm scanning people, and I'm not having that next level of what. What a, what a business would look like. So I've got a lot of people that will come to me for odd scans, if you know what I mean, and they're happy to pay for them. Yep. And are they your um, coaching clients? No, because I actually work for a company. I work for uh, Sanitarium Vitality Works. So these okay. are just people that will see my blue dot. A yep. lot of people see my blue dot. I got close to Gina Reinhardt the other day and I had my Ooh. blue dot on. <laughs> Unfortunately, I only got a, what do you do on the mines? I said, oh, well, let's go. I'm holding my hand up with a blue dot. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so I like... I like to learn how you girls have structure around it. I know you have clients that come in. I don't have, they're not my clients. I work for a corporation. So that's where, yeah, it, yeah I'd like a little uh, a little guidance around anyone that maybe you've come across in your teams that's like me. Hmm. It's, yeah. Good. Yeah, awesome. Um, DJ, did you want to? Yeah, I'd love to. I feel, I feel an excitement for you, Ange, because... You get to actually start from the beginning. You don't have to unlearn anything. You get to do it like right first time kind of thing, you know. Yeah. And as far as I think one of the things that if we can, if we understand that this technology is for everybody, yeah, every single human, every single animal, you know, every single being, but we can't market to everybody because yeah. we're like throwing mud at the wall and hoping that it sticks. So I would be asking yourself questions uh, like, what are these people coming to you for? What are you known for? You know, what what is it that people feel drawn to ask you the question about? Because they, they're your people. Yeah. That's what they're, they're attracted to something in you that you've got solu a solution. Like, what is the solution that you're providing to, you know, what's the problem? What's their problem? And you have the solution. And when you get really clear on that, it starts the path, you, you start to take those, you know, you don't have to see, you don't have to see, what's that analogy, the, the, the full staircase, you just have to take the first step. And so when we start to like narrow it down to who, who, who you know, what am I good at? What are people coming to me for? And what's my solution? Then you'll start to niche it down and then, and then you can build the business around that because that's where it all starts is who who are my people who what's this mm. what's the solution I'm providing and then and who do I like to working that? with too I reckon DJ yeah. as well it's like who are the yeah, ones that are to me who are absolute pains in the asses and I don't know go with them again but who are the ones that I love that I that light me up and you know I think we've actually lost Ange but um oh, there she is she's coming back oh sorry <laughs> my, yeah my so we have decided that's okay to upgrade my um my laptop while I was talking on it <laughs> oh, oh amazing company. well done thank you <laughs> so we were just saying and you know um yeah looking at that who you um who's coming to you currently and what you're serving them with but also who you like to work with because mm -hmm. you know if you're getting people turning up that you're not loving working with um then you can also you know, look at that and think, okay, well, these are the people that I love to work with. These are the people not so much. So who, how do I start to speak to that, you know, um, as well? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah kind of, because it's the messaging that it's the, it's the message that you're putting out is what is the piece that's going to attract them. I don't know if you have, didn't know your human design, this might be a little bit kind of, but when you, when you study design. your human design, yeah, I know. I love human design too. I, it's been I'm a, to I, I'm a project. I'm apparently a projector. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. And do you know your numbers? Okay. Your lines? Yes. Yeah. All my lines. Yeah. What What are they? What numbers are you? I have not got them on me at the moment, but I'll. That's okay. I'll, That's, yeah. It doesn't really matter, but um, projectors are amazing at as long as you. <laughs> Use what you want. You are like major manifestors. You just bring stuff in. Like my partner's a projector and, oh, my God, like, 
you just have to decide. So you yeah. get clear on who you want to serve and start to, you don't even even have to put it out there. You just have to get clear on it and people yeah. will just be drawn to you. So, um, and, and, and do the same process with who you want to bring into your business. And I know we've spoken about that before, but who are the people that you want to work with in a team? Um, get really clear on that because um, projectors are powerful, powerful, powerful. And I was going to say to you, you know, and I'm sure you've looked at this, but the avenue of actually being able to bring it into your coaching, you know, your professional work that you do at the moment. Um, yeah. The problem is with projectors, you need to be wait for the invitation. So you do have to try and create that kind of invitation there to share that because otherwise it won't it won't land. So um, my advice would be to look for those situations where you can, you know, drop something into the space around an inner voice would be amazing for the stuff potentially that you're doing on the on the minds, would it? Do yeah, you think? yeah. Well, I've already started seed planting with right. uh, management because they're building a they're spending two million dollars on um on the camp and a wellness center is going in there and we're oh. actually I said to my boss I want I want to be able to come in on the meeting and actually put this forward because I just think to my I'm like my my father always used to say you get your head out of the clouds girl you're a dreamer but I just see big things. Big, big things always, yeah. you know. I wanted to dance on stage when I was 13 with, you know, top people all over the world, you know, and to me I thought that was great. So I still yeah. I still have the thought process like that and I still am dropping the seeds where I say, imagine if every worker could come in every morning and in a voice scan, take those tunes with them, you know, instead of the rubbish that they listen to in their head, come home every night, have yeah. sleep, sleep assistance. It's just... Yeah. I just keep dropping the seeds because I think eventually I will find the right person whose pot plant they need to go into. Yeah. I do wonder as well, and whether you could pitch it to them in a way that it's, um, I would love to do this study. Yeah. Ah, 21 days. A study. a study on the mental health or whatever your focus is. And yep. I'd like to monitor them over the next 21 days. So I need X amount of volunteers and I'd really love because I'm doing this, this, you know, thing and it's it's in mental health and blah, 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 you know. So I'm doing a study and I would love some participants from the mind because I'd love to see the impact on their mental health. Oh, thank so you, Paige. Be, that is could. spot on. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that would be because that I, I think you're sitting on literally a mine there. <laughs> I got <a> mine. <laughs> because you know, if you could get that into there, then imagine, right? Imagine because there's so much, you know, around Australia, obviously, that um you could tap into there. So that well, would the be mine, the, the mine I'm on has two thousand two hundred people. It's like a yeah. village. Yeah. Mm. Yep. So yeah, you would yeah, that would be amazing. Like I've yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And Kate. the other and things are yeah. mm -hmm. you're welcome. Um I was just gonna say I've got I know that fitness and health and all of those things are pretty um forefront in people's minds too. And I've got a friend of mine who uses the 660 band in blue. Um and yep. he's on mine sites as well. Um so I don't know if there's an avenue for you to speak to people on that level as well, because he takes it to help with his performance and, you know, that sort of thing, um, which obviously when they fly and fly out and stuff, that um, that's what he is. So that gets affected, you know, with the yeah. consistency and all of those. So I don't know how you would access your people to talk to them about that, but that would be something else that I would, you know, maybe red light therapy and that sort of thing could get them back to work faster. I don't know. I, yeah. 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 Well, we, um, things for blue. Yeah. yeah, I try to, uh, well, I do, I, I, uh, build a relationship also with the medics up there as well too. And the physios, um, but I oversee all the gym. I do all the classes and the wellness and the mental health, the sleep talks, the hydration. So that study thing, thank you so much, yeah. Paige. That's absolutely gold. I think that is a really, yeah. really good start point. Yeah, awesome. Good luck. Let us know how you go. I will. Yeah. I will. I'll be, nice I'll be good. Fantastic. All right. So have we got somebody else who would like to be in the spotlight? Yeah, awesome. Leonie, hi. 
Yeah, just, um, do you need me to unmute you? Hang on. Oh. Yeah, I've got it. Oh, yeah. And I'll follow with Ange. Great, great for Ange. Brilliant. And I've got a good client base. I'm an actual therapist and I've been doing it for a long time, 30 over years everywhere. Yeah. Um, but I find it difficult. I, I scan everyone. Everyone that comes in, I scan them. But my next thing is how do I take that to the next level with them, with the scanner? and just get them to add on because, yes, if I come in, you start with that, they'll keep coming in and they'll expect it as part of their program. How do I yeah. how do I discern the yeah. difference in the two and get a business in that? Okay. So are you just doing inner voice at the moment? Yes, but, of course, I go further because I want to show them more and then they're okay. excited. And So yeah. <laughs> you could show them more. But just do the inner right. voice to start with and you yes. could just say, but you go to your report and say, and this is what else it's capable of. So Up to you know, my the, personal report and show Yeah, them. yeah. Oh. I wouldn't show them theirs because then oh. you start to get into questions, right? Yes. And it becomes personal and then you end yes. up answering a million and one questions. So I will only ever do someone's inner voice and, oh. and send them their report. I will not do, do any other scans for them. Um, until I know they're either interested in the business and then I will show them what the other scans are. Um, so what you, I, I think, um, yes. potentially what you can do is um, let them know that it's available. So start to speak to your audience about what the scanner does and what's available. Give them a little snippet with the inner voice. And maybe you could say that's for a short time, you know, so put a limited time that you'll be running these scans or, or tell them when you get the scan, you know, first one's free, but, you know, after that it's, whatever, whatever amount you want to make it. Uh, the other thing that I found really handy was doing a month long program. And you make that month long program more expensive than the um, subscription. Yeah. And so when they want another month, you say, well, you could actually have this technology be running it every single day for yourself. Um, yeah. And it's less money and you can run it for your pets right. and your kids and brandies and you're this and you're that and you're, yeah. So that's what I do. That, that's so, what I. That's what I do too. Yeah. Wow. I basically say. I basically say. I would love for you to come and pay me one hundred and eighty-five dollars a week. Yep. To run your scans for you, but I'll tell you what would be more empowering for you is that mm. if you actually got a subscription that's only going to cost you fifty-five dollars a week. Yep. Wow, that's that's excellent because I I couldn't get that. Yep. jumping hurdle yep. and then yep. I you know I've done 60 of, of yep. the yep. scans yep. but yeah and make sure you're always that. saying yeah. that make sure you're always saying as well that this is available for personal use so I'm a practitioner yes. but I have yeah. a lot of people who use yeah. this for personal use for their yeah. own health and well-being because these are the other things that it does yeah. um and then, that you're offering support as well I, you, yeah. because they're going to then be a part of your team. Yes. So then yeah. you'll be a part of their encouraging them to do the basic training yeah. and to do them to learn about it. You'll support them in their learning, yeah. but you're not going to be doing it for no. them or no. on the calls all the time translating and interpreting their scans because that I, I did that. Yes. <laughs> the other yeah. thing is, so, okay, my pro my issue is within my own self and head is, so I've, I had to know that, yes, I can, I can uh, get the money back for it, I can whatever. How can I do that with them? So, so, yes, I've done their scans. How can I sort of say to them, well, look, if you do it and you pay your 200 a month, you know, how can they get their money back kind of? Do, do you know a quick, it's probably simple for yeah, everyone yes. else, but. Well, you find yeah. three people. Okay. Yeah. Who want to do it? Yeah. And, then and so, yep. Yeah. yeah. Find more if you want to earn. Gonna, yeah. Or you, or even just one a month. Yeah. Like if you reframe, if you reframe it, sometimes people go, "Oh, finding three. But if you mm -hmm. think about, it, if you do the math, if you do that, which I'm not big on the math, but mm -hmm. my partner is, and he's done the math, and this was his idea. He said, he said, if, even if you get one person a month. Yeah. The, the six because you're going to get the sixty five percent lift off, and you're going to get your fifty dollars from this subscription. So you're getting basically enough in that one sale for that one mm. month to cover you your subscription for the following month. Well, then and some, yeah. while you find another person. 
Oh, thank you. Next month. You've got to keep it so, simple. Yeah. You yeah. say it and they don't do it's it. Simple. No. And, and so yeah. with that, yeah, DJ, so do you mean also that they have a they purchase a bundle? Yes, yes. So they need, so they say, even if they come in, because I'm, for me, I just want people using the technology, but obviously they need the quantum tools. So that's how I position it. I say the, the subscription is only 150 a month, but the, um, and you get some really discounted quantum tools to use with um, your technology. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I'm yeah, to that's what I, that's how I position it. Quantum and tool. then, and you know, if they come in on the $300 bundle, it's not about the, it's not about the, you know, some of the business people, the practitioners want to have all the, all the bells and whistles and that's great like with they. the alpha passes and things, but, yeah. but even if they just, you know, if, if there's no, problem in coming in it's better if that if they can see the, the, the bigger vision that they they need this technology for themselves and their family you know yeah. and so keep it when we keep it simple and say you know one person a month will cover you and then once they've got their three so then buy organically then they'll have three and then they don't have to worry about it the pressure comes off and they can just do that they can or they can't but it'll also get them into the the, um, you know, when people talk about it with others, it, it, it increases that, you know, curiosity and the desire for more knowledge and all of the things. Yeah. So absolutely, I like yeah. that. It's a sensible way. Great. Yeah. Leone, the other thing that I would say to you is having been in your industry for that long, I'm sure mm. you have a lot of peers um, and other practitioners around you. Yes. Um, so, uh, you know, just talking to your friends about it and say, who are who are practitioners and saying hey have you heard of this because it's really you know um enhancing the way I do business it's it's offering me a different you know a different stream of income and a different and a, and a low cost because I find practitioners always want to be learning right yes we don't always have the money to do the next big course right mm. but this is a low cost way to get in mm -hmm. most of the trainings free if you're willing to do the digging there's a heck of a lot of free training out there that you can you know upskill with without having to pay any money but the actual official solex training is really not that expensive either you know the first level is only 149 dollars you know phase one yeah. and then you know it does get a little bit more expensive but it's not out of the ballpark for for no. practitioners no. um it's actually an affordable way and it's to, to up level your business. So oh, yeah. yeah um, and, and, and it's all certified. Yes, that's right. Yes. So the certificate yeah. there's um certification side of it as well. That. So there's a lot yeah. of credibility yeah. when you know if you yeah. want to become a bioresonance yeah. practitioner. Yeah. Yeah, that's right that's, um yes because I said I'm doing this university course well of course that made me feel good but yeah <laughs> my husband said what the hell absolutely <laughs> Yeah. yeah, well, it is at Solex University, so, you know, and it is recognised in Australia. So, yeah, um, so I would be taking that to you. Um, yeah, Thank you. Sure. That, look, that is gold because I'm going to Adelaide. I've got, you know, weeks of clients over there and I've got a lot, all the practitioners have done oh, a course with me here or there or whatever here, but I haven't yep. tapped in because I, but I must do it. Yep. And, and have you tapped into your have you tapped into the test testimonials, collecting testimonials from your existing clients who've been experiencing the technology is also a really um, organic way of, you know, yeah. putting it out there, credibility, people mm. are getting results. Oh my god, I want to get results too in that thing, yeah. you know. I must, yeah, I must you know. get it all pulled together. Kylie will help. Yeah, and ask, make sure when you when you share it with them, say, I'm still learning all of this, so I'd love to hear how you go with it and check in with them because sometimes people won't share with you until you ask, you know, and then they'll be like, oh, my gosh, yes, this happened and this happened and this happened, and they're like, oh, mm -hmm. awesome, you know. So, mm -hmm. yeah, be sure to follow up with people. I know it's a bit time-consuming, but it's worth it in the end, and it also builds your trust, trust in the technology as well, which I think is important at the beginning as well. Well, thank you. I hope that was valuable for all of the others as it well. It will be, I'm sure. <laughs> awesome. Thank thank you. You. Thanks for being brave. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, have we got any other volunteers? Anyone who doesn't have a doesn't have a business <laughs> at all. Yeah, who wants that might to want to be yeah, who wants to Yeah, yeah. Danielle. Awesome. Danielle. Woohoo. Hello. Hello. Um, I'm a new face to Solex. So I actually haven't Welcome. watched the 
um, technology yet. I'm yet to jump in. I've I've had a scan from a friend, um, and yeah, I just don't know like what to do or uh, like bit of background. I um, I'm a physio and have been for 13 years, and I um, much like you, Beck, I think with the the old model of care, and I was like, you know the things that I was doing to help people in pain just um, wasn't improving. So, and I knew like I'm, I'm good at what I do. So I was like, what is the missing link? And then I came across like German new medicine and that was looking at the stress and trauma and how it impacts the body physically. Um, so the mind body kind of connection. And yeah, then I just, I am in my comfort zone of physio and I know how to do physio and that's what I always go back to, but I I don't genuinely love it. And yeah, I, this, I was like, wow, this is amazing. I have heard of Healy as well. Like I've got a friend overseas who's um, like pitched it to me, but yeah, this, this seems um, uh, just amazing. So uh, yeah, I don't know. Obviously, you know, get the technology first and and play with it and see how it works and and all that. But um, I would love eventually to just work with chronic pain clients um, and just I would love to go into the online space as well. Um, but incorporate yeah, GNM and um, my hypnotherapy as well. So and okay. obviously background of physio. So yeah, how I. I think that, um, you know, once you've built that trust with the technology that you could really pitch to other other physios because if you're finding that it's not shifting things for people and, if you know, there's going to be a niche market there for you to actually speak to other physios about adding in quantum tools to their business um, to to actually get results instead of, you know, so I reckon there's a whole, what about you, DJ? I reckon there's a whole niche market there for you um, because I know... Mm -hmm most people I speak to who've done physio do it because that's what they've always done, but they don't get a lot of results from it. You know, that's generally yeah. the consensus that I get. And they're coming to yeah. me because they're looking for something different, right? Because yeah. whatever it is, hasn't shifted it. Now, kinesiology is very well, in the same realm as GNM in terms of we yeah. look at, you know, we look at the emotions behind it and we shift yes. the, you know, the cause and all that sort of stuff. And so, um, yeah, and the inner voice I find from that perspective just helps to um, keep people between sessions, you know, keep them in alignment, keep them balanced. Yeah. Um, for months on end, some people, like I actually had a client come back to me and I didn't even know, but she said she was chronically anxious and she left me. I didn't even think she would be able to use the technology because she, or, or understand what I told her and how, how to play the tunes because she was in such stress. She came back to me and said, what's this note mean? like this was six months later and I said oh it's about confidence and you know blah 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 and she was like that's the one I go to when my anxiety starts just that three minutes and I was like wow and she and I had watched her over the over Facebook because we're Facebook friends and I'd watched her develop and you know like I knew she was okay because I was kept checking in with her um, but that was the thing that was the thing that was getting her out of it so it's not even just this one week thing that they get it's it's phenomenal mm. this tool if people use it um yeah. And so um yeah I just think for you get the technology <laughs> learn yeah. it but, you know know it but then go after that market because that's huge yeah yeah okay and I can I can really I could really resonate um firstly yes definitely to get the technology and start using it yourself mm. and it will help with your own clarity it really, you know, when we become a product of the product, when we use it, like um, before we first record, Angela was talking about how she's just really getting a lot of messages coming to her. It's like her channels are opening and it's just, it's using this technology gives you so much clarity. Because I fell out of alignment with the medical model for exactly the same reasons as you. I could see that none of this stuff was working. It was all yeah. symptom management. It's all the whole medical model is symptom management and it just doesn't work. It's no it's not a long term solution for it's a patchwork system and ED was becoming like the worst. Like here's an endo and here's a here, you know, 
take and then go see the physio, you know, for weeks on end yeah. and we're wondering why these people are not getting better. And I I started to realise very early on that it, there was a real emotional component with all this, you know, the cardiac people had a lot of, you know, there was brokenheartedness and stress and there was all of these signs and symptoms and I'm like, nobody's actually doing anything about that. So that's what got me out to start looking outside the box and I truly believe that even now when people come to me on with that, I don't lead with, help, with the health side of it because it's not about the symptoms. The symptom is just is the, is the end result. <laughs> you know, we need to go all the way back to the, the emotional stuff, the, you know, and when, you're, when you get the reports, when you start doing the reports, the body system scan, it shows all the areas in the body, the cardiovascular, respiratory, musculoskeletal, you know, endocrine, the hormones. It goes through all of those things and it shows you exactly what emotions are trapped and stuck in those body systems and you'll see the patterns forming. Like from a practitioner, from, from the work that you do, you'll absolutely love it. I should be a salesperson, but anyway, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's like you'll love that side yeah. of it. Like it is yeah. just an absolute, like you'll be, it's the answer to your prayer. It's the yeah. answer to the solution for all of your your clients, patients, you know, that you currently see that you're mm. still wanting to help in some capacity, but you're just feeling like you've hit a glass ceiling. You can't, yeah. you, you just uh -huh. can't get, you can't help them anymore. Yeah. And this is the, I've got goosebumps. This is the piece that you need. There you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can I ask, um, Paige, you were saying about, you're saying it's recognised in mm -hmm. Australia. Yep. Um, um, with the, yep. So there's insurers, OA, OAN and IICT are currently recognising it. So they often um, insure natural health um, modalities, so kinesiologies with them, you know, um, hypnosis. So if you've got hypnosis and you've got yeah, insurance. Yeah, yeah yep, I've got insurance. Yeah, the IICT. Yeah, Perfect. yeah, but they recognize. Um, I just want to understand, um, Beck, you might have an understanding with nursing, but um, with physio and other, like any allied health or GP, et cetera, practitioners, they, you, with my registration with APRA, which is the Australian governing body, mm -hmm. they are very strict in what you can do and what, you can't do in terms of your scope of practice and then also if I get sued um, then they won't cover me like I'm, I'm thinking big picture but yep. so yeah. if I have can I practice this in my physio sessions under the physio umbrella if I I guess I have the insurance from IICT was that clear I I, <laughs> I would probably you would have to get clear on that. What is, what's your thoughts, DJ? Yeah. You have to be clear on what uh, those so, so I've de registered myself as a, mm. I'm no, I'm a nurse, but I'm no longer a registered nurse. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I fell out of, because I fell out of alignment with them and their BS. Yeah. System. Mm. Because they, are, they want you to stay in the pharmaceutical business. Yes. Yeah. And so, it's, the, it's all about the money. So it's up to you. Like if you're an independent pr practitioner as far as a, you're independently have your own physio business, you yeah. could potentially bring the bring it into your business. Uh, but just but know no, that they... Decide, that it, just, yeah, say it's separate. Yeah. And like or, you have access well, to it. Separate. How are you doing your hypnosis you, at the moment? Well, I only just... Um, I only just did my GNM and hypno course kind of, you know, this year. So I've only done a couple just because, A, I'm nervous, and, B, I know physio, so I keep going back to comfort zone. And yeah. I need to stop that, mm -hmm. and I know yeah. that's a, um, an issue for me. Maybe a Maybe solid. it's – you know what it <laughs> probably is? You know what it probably is? Is getting those that business up and running – Yes. As a, side, as a side gig. Yes. And when yes. you're seeing your physio clients come to you and they're not healing, yeah. you can look, you know, physio is fantastic and there's something deeper going on with you. And this yes. is something I offer that's not physio, 
but it's to help those people that I see because I don't want to keep taking your money here because yeah. you're not getting any better. So let's try something different and this is my different thing that I offer. And I do that on these days when I'm not wearing my physio hat. Yeah, I don't know that's, that's awesome. From. Yeah. I yeah. I, you still have to look. I don't know your guidelines. I don't know all the legalities around yeah. it. But you have to be. I, you do have to be very careful with with the opera thing. I, yeah. I was actually investigated. I was investigated by them, so I know all about that. Mm. Yes, <laughs> so, and I don't want to be. I know all about that. No, so I deregistered myself and went. You know what? You can. You you're just a company. Yeah, they're I'm just sure. a they're just a they're just a, they're just a company. So don't be afraid of them. But you, but when you get to a point where you've had an, where enough's enough, when you get to that point, you'll yeah. be able to step away from that life and underneath that umbrella, and you'll be so fucking free. Excuse my yeah. language, but you'll be so fucking free. It mm. will just be so liberating, and you'll be and I've got goosebumps, and you'll <laughs> be actually helping humanity heal. Yeah, like actually. Yeah, and I feel and, like and, as well. Very, yeah. Yeah, like, you know, DJ, you still say you're a nurse, even though you're deregistered, you know what I mean? And I feel like you could still take that angle with, you know, say that I'm I'm a trained physio, so I understand the body, I understand what's going on, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So um, even if you're not, you know, registered, you still say, I, I was a physio for 13 yeah. years. And you yeah. Know, yeah, they can't still- take your, they can't take your qualification away from you. You no. still got your qualification. Yeah. It's not practicing under that model in the mainstream system. Yeah. Because, so, yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that's what I would do, what Paige said, is like start building. This is what I did. I started my integrative health, you know, five years ago. I started on that path and I started building a little side hustle. But I'll tell you what the kicker was when this was the only route that I knew that I had to go, when mm-hmm. there was no other choice. Because I have defaulted, I did 30 years of that. 30 years of nursing out of alignment. I was probably out of alignment for 20 of those 30 years. Mm -hmm. And just, it was just easy. It's easy. I know how to do it. I can do it with my eyes cut and close and they get paid every week. You know, it's just, and it's so not fulfilling. It just doesn't fill your soul. Mm -hmm. And so you've got to follow your heart and soul and just take the next best step. Yeah. Yeah. And I have ever since. Yeah. Ever since. Like it was my mum and dad who said, you know, you won't be on the farm and you'll go to uni <clears throat> go to uni and, and get a degree to always fall back on something. And I was like, oh, I don't, and I have fallen back on it for the last 13 years. So it, it is an income, which is, you know, you know, single parent and stuff. Like yeah. it is income. So I guess build up that side get it. and switch over when it takes over. Wow, what a day that will be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. Awesome. awesome. Okay, awesome. thank well, you so much. We'll look forward to seeing you on board. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank All you. Right. Thanks, Danielle. All right. Who else do we have? We've probably we're at nine forty-five, but I think we've got time we for a couple. Probably more. do one, one more. Yeah, one, two. yeah, one or two more. Has anyone else got any burning? Even just questions, guys. We don't have to. I guess we don't have to analyze your business if you don't want. But if you have questions as well. Um, more than welcome. Is everyone finding this helpful? Is it been relative? Yeah. Awesome. I, I am Paige. I'm finding yeah. it very helpful. And it's really good that we've got a cross section of people that are professional. Um, I, I still I, like I'm a wellness coach as well, too. So I'm I shouldn't say this. I'm ex I'm exercise physiologist, but I still work within uh, a business. I had my own business for years. But um, what I want to talk about is is uh, Facebook, a little bit of, on Facebook and Instagram. I, I try to do a mix of what I'm doing in my personal life. You know, I followed you all through Bustleton and all around as you've been travelling. How often would you incorporate a post with regards to the business, you, your, your business? Yeah. Because a lot of people will say to me, oh, I didn't even know you, you had a side business. Yeah. And I think, look, DJ is the, the expert on this. She's amazing at all this stuff. I, personally, I'm a manifesting generator, okay, so back to human design. And for me, yeah. when I get inspired, I post, okay? It's yeah. not great <laughs> for me because I, you know, I should really be more consistent and have a bit of a, you know, whatever. But the model that I look at as I try to look at the whole, you know, do an inspirational, do an educational, um, you know, 
Um, what's the others? I don't know. There's a couple more. So I sort of think about that. And then I think about what's going on in my own life at the moment, because I haven't been seeing a lot of clients because we've been traveling. I've been using my own personal testimonials a bit more, but when, when something comes up, you know, I just share it. And then, you know, the odd, maybe there's a feature. So I, I know I put a lot of gratitude ones out and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm so grateful to have this. Mm. She's frozen. She's frozen. Okay, um, DJ, what 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 are your thoughts right. on that? <laughs> so that's your your there is a very different um genre of people on each platform as you probably mm. have seen. So um Instagram is a lot more of a, a visual platform and it also has a much larger organic reach. So you can do a lot of free marketing on Instagram. Once you learn some of the strategies, you can actually, you know, reels are obviously really powerful. They get the most um, views and then carousel posts, which are the ones where you can, you know, swipe across two, three or four um, you know, you know what I mean with about a, yep. with a carousel post. Yeah. Yep. So Facebook, on the other hand, is Facebook. You're talking to the same people over and 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 over. Mm. <laughs> it's the same people. It's your friends list, and then the people that follow you. That if you've got followers, I find I'm a generator, human design. I'm a one three generator. So I'm a I'm a if I'm if I'm really lit up energetically, people just magnetize to me. And I only yeah. ever write posts on my Facebook page when I'm 100% of the way. If I, I've got to be lit right the way up. Mm, yeah. I cannot post for the sake of it. I don't say, here's my breakfast and here's my coffee and here's my, <laughs> oh, I just, that shit just does my head in. I cannot be that person and I'm not saying that other people can't because if that's what feels good to you, then mm. freaking do it, you know. And if, if eating a beautiful breakfast out in the sunshine, you know, looking at the ocean or whatever is a, is a raise your vibration thing, you then post about that. But for me, I, I just, uh, like I post about the beach because I love the beach. So I post about things that I really love and passionate about. But it's really getting clear on your messaging, I think. So if you're going to use Facebook, Start more in your stories than on your actual posts. The stories yep. seem, seem to just get a lot more. Then you'll figure out who's watching you. Yeah. Who are the people that are watching me? What are they about? What do they need? Is there something I can offer them? You know, and then start speaking retrospectively, like talk about things. This is what I do. I go, you know, the last two years of being XYZ, I've been, you know, Re retraining I've been um, realizing things about myself and about where I want to go in the world and who I want to help and serve and these are the things that I'm currently doing and if you're interested in like it's just about sharing your journey it's really documenting your journey so that other people can see that you're actually a product of the product you're you're walking the talk you're doing the do so like currently I've got a CEPI group going that I am on the path with them. It's a 21-day weight releasing program, but I am doing the do. I'm out every morning walking the beach, drinking my water, doing my affirmations, my gratitude. Like I'm with my people. I'm walking beside. I might be leading them, but I'm walking beside them. And I feel yeah. like that's what people you need to stay relatable so that you don't have to. They don't feel like it's not achievable for them, you know. And I feel like. Um, and also, obviously, doing little, as far as the business posts go, that, so yesterday I did something about how I was using Bo, I'm going to be co-hosting a, a Zoom on, you know, showing practitioners and coaches and things how to use bioresonance in their business to elevate it. And I got all these messages from people. What are you doing? What is that? Tell me more. I had two people book in for bioresonance therapy. You know, because I'd said I'm holding this group. I'm, doing, I'm holding this group. They're all receiving their bioresonance therapy for 21 days. They're just in my stories. And mm -hmm. then I get a, oh, my God, I'd love to do. Have, tell me more about that. 
And so, but that's because I'm being a demonstration of what's what's possible. I'm doing. I'm I'm just documenting what I do. So, yeah. yeah, and and be consistent with that. But I feel like if you're depending on where your people are, like figure out where your people are. I know you can share Instagram stories are way are way nicer than Facebook store. But the Facebook story platform is a bit clunky and it's just it's not cool. <laughs> but the Instagram one is just a lot. It's a lot more aesthetic. Let's just say there's a lot more functionality in there. You can really see the trending music. There's lots of things that you can do with Instagram. You can share it across to your Facebook story, but I feel yeah. like to figure out who your people are, like where, where they're hanging out. Where are your people hanging out? Are they hanging out in Facebook more, or are they hanging out in Instagram? And just concentrate on. You know, back in the day when I know Paige's Paige and I have both been through the we've both done online marketing for years. And there was this whole, you know, spread your message over all the platforms and you know, like which I just feel like nowadays with there's just so many options. Back in the day there was, you know, Facebook, LinkedIn and maybe Instagram. You know, now we've got mm-hmm. Pinterest and TikTok and like we've got all these things. So just pick one and really just go go for it. You know, you can you can send your post back and forth. Like if you start on Instagram and send it over to, just know that if you share a post from your Instagram onto your Facebook, you're not going to get as much engagement as if you actually upload it straight into the Facebook platform. So the the algorithm's different when you're sharing across the platform. So, but yeah, yeah just pick your pick your thing and just and, and just document what you do speak into all your wellness stuff and and especially mental health it is just massive especially at the moment and yeah. December is always a, a big ease for people thank you thank you both of you that helped a lot thank you Good. um we've got Janice you've got your oh Janice yay hi everybody I just thought I'd share, um, seeing as I've really only been, I think we're about six months now, um, I really believe in when you do offer free scans, it's all in the Mm follow-up, 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 follow-up. And really since being with DJ and now doing this 21 days, wow, it's been like an epiphany of you've got the support, you've got the training, you've got the group that's there. Oh, it's really been quite wet. The first day, it blew me away. I just couldn't stop drinking water. I could feel the the frequency, but I cried my eyes out for the first half an hour. I was like, where's that coming from? Yeah, really need to get into the emotions of it's beautiful. So thanks, DJ. Oh, gorgeous. So beautiful. Yeah. I see there's the power. Like, you know, Janice is in my team also um she's got such a big heart you know to be a part of the change she's had her own journey and she's bringing and initially when she got started she felt a bit intimidated by the fact that you know there was all these practitioners on all of the things and wanted to know wanted to be able to know everything and i just kept saying your your own life journey is what is where you start with what what if you know the tools and the the wisdom that that women, because we're all you know women here, but you know that that we that we have in our toolkit, we can start with that. What have you journeyed through? What have you come through in your life? And now you can see how it, how you can use the bioresonance um, therapy to help you know shift things. If only we had this tool, you know. I bet you we all say that. If only we had this tool years ago, you know. And that sometimes is only. The, we can do all, like I've been down that journey, sound healing, you know, breath work, ice baths, you know, all of the things like, and I love all of those tools and they all go, they all amalgamate together. But the beautiful thing about the bioresonance is that it is actually shifting these things that we, a lot of the time when we're doing these other practices, we can, our mind can still get in the way of just breaking through that next level. But when we're actually doing it, you know, when and I, it just, it just, it's a game changer. Like I've been sending frequencies to my partner's bank account. We've got big lump sums of money. It's just like, 
there is it's just endless like we really get to have it all we really do we get to do the work we get to be a part of you know the change that we want to see in the world and we get to also be that reciprocity of of receiving abundance for it you know and being rewarded for it and so I hope that you all just step into you know like the other little thing that I I do with, like with my clients too is and I encourage everyone to do this is just you know put a circle out in front of you just an imaginary circle on the floor and just and visualize like who start to really feel into what are you wanting to achieve with soul leaves like what is it that you really want to do with this technology you know where do you want to be do you want to do you want to just solely grow the soul X business and be a diamond? You know, if that's what you want to do, start visualizing it and feeling it into your body how that feels when you've achieved that thing. And then in this circle in front of you, step in, like physically step into that circle and be that person that does that. Listen to, do your easy scans every day, you know, run your frequencies, talk about it with people, like actually be the thing that you really desire in this in this lifetime. And things will start to align. When we start to, you know, to be the thing, all the doors open, the doors close that we don't no longer need to go through and the other ones open. And we start to clear our channel because we've got a direct, we've got a vision. We have mm. to get somewhere that we are traveling toward. And so, yeah, anyway, yeah. that was a bit of a channel moment. <laughs> I love your I love your channel. So awesome. Channel <laughs> awesome. Um Shasti just I asked whether the water you are referring to is a special type of water or it's just normal water. Oh with oh with the water. Yeah. Not yeah. Oh. tap water. Let's just say okay. that. Yes, yes, not tap water. <laughs> it's not not tap water. If we, yeah, and you know, if you've got the wand, you can wand your water. Yes. Although you probably haven't got a lot of you haven't got your wands yet, but when you get your yeah. wands, you'll be able to wand your water. Um, yeah. you know, I, I mean, I have a candy machine. That's what I, I've had one for years and years and years. It's just what my family and I we use. Um, yeah. it's a, it's just entirely up to you, whatever. But just know that the tap water is so contaminated with chemicals. It's really acidic and not, it's just not a good option for uh, wellness in general. And it's full of heavy metals and you know, it's nasty. Yeah. So if you can steer away from that, it, yeah, just, and you know, and just be mindful of the, the plastic bottle situation too, because it's microplastics and that, you know, these, the shelf life of these bottled waters is a long time and, uh, and, it, and plastic interferes with our hormones. So just yeah. be just be mindful. Just yeah, That's be funny. mindful. Do some research. Just keep the stuff on the internet about it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks everyone for joining us. We're right on the hour now. So I think if there's no more questions, mm -hmm. we'll we'll sign off and um yeah, have an amazing Saturday. I think next week, maybe. I don't know whether Wendy's gonna be up to um uh, Tammy, sorry, not. I don't know why I'm saying yeah, when yeah. Tammy will, yeah, but anyway, there'll be another call next week. I'm sure we can reshuffle yeah. if we um, need yeah. to. Um, it was a shame that she change. was yeah, not well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anyway, awesome. Okay. Thank you so much, ladies. Bye, everyone. Have a great weekend. <laughs> You're welcome. Have Bye. a beautiful weekend. Bye. Bye.